Hi everyone, welcome to Barbie Dolls of the Week. So this week I have another installment of 90s dolls to show you. Um, I have kind of a two, two or three different ones. Um, and then I also want to talk about two other quick things at the end. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with this doll, and I think I have shown this one. Uh, this is from 1991, but she's certainly worth showing again. Um, this is Special Expressions Barbie, and she happens to be the African-American version. Party, it says, Party Pretty in Shimmery Lace. Now, I'm going to take her out because it's open at the top, so no reason not to. And show you what she looks like. I love the color of this outfit that she has on. And it goes well with her eye makeup that they chose kind of like a greenish blue. Um, this outfit looks on the camera more blue than, in person it looks a little more, a hint of green with the blue. But I see it's coming across more blue. Here's her face up close. And, um, you know, I don't know how much, let me see if there was a price tag. I don't know how much this was, but, you know, it was part of, um, I was thinking this was from Woolworths or something. And I, oh, yeah, it says at the top, Woolworth Special Edition. So I would think it'd be like eight ninety nine, but I could be wrong. Could be less. But somewhere between six and nine ninety nine would be my guess. Which I'm sticking with eight ninety nine. The dress is pretty short, as you can see. It does still have a brush and shoes with it. Uh, shoes are still included, but the brush is no longer included. And also, no stand that I see. Um, I really appreciate it when they included stands. The brushes, I didn't care quite as much, because once you had 20 of them, you didn't need another 20. I get Well, unless you're doing some kind of project. But yeah, that's the... Here's a picture on the back, by the way. I'm not crazy about the bow and the hair, but, you know, I'm sure little girls would have loved it. So there she is. That's the first one. Special Expressions, uh, Woolworth Special Edition, Barbie. Okay, moving on. Now, I showed you one a few episodes back uh, that was in a blue dress, and I think it was for a um, ballerino type one. Um, but this one is the Jewel Skating Barbie from Walmart at the time. Special Edition again. And... Um, let me see something. This was the one that was from 98, I believe. Yeah, this is from 1998. I thought she was just really pretty. Kind of, she reminded me of that one I showed you a few weeks back. That was, uh, maybe it was a month now. Um, in the blue outfit, and like I said, was the ballerina. This one is an ice skater. So she's got her little ice skates on. Um, but just a, I think that's such a pretty face. I'm not sure what face mold that is. As you know, I don't do well with face molds. Um, but yeah, and on the back, instead of pictures, which would have been nice, they show you different um, poses, I guess, like arabesque and spin and opening or finale pose. It says, Barbie glides into the spotlight, the ice glistening like the jewel on her shimmering costume. It's sure to be a winning performance. It is a pretty outfit, isn't it? Um, I thought they did such elegant stuff in this time period of the 90s. Uh, simple, elegance, not too over the top. Like, late 80s and some of the early 90s, I thought, were a little sometimes over the top. Especially when they were the big dresses, you know, out to big as my face. So, yeah, the box is pretty plain, pretty basic. Uh, again, no price, but I would think this would be about ten about ten dollars, nine ninety nine, something like that, back then especially. But beautiful doll, beautiful outfit. Okay, so there's those first two, and then um, these two. Let me see something. Yeah, I don't think I have the third one in the series, which is Barbie, but I have these two, and this is from nine. I think this might have also been. Let me double check. Uh, ninety nine. This is from nineteen ninety nine. That's what I was thinking. Um, let's start with this one. This is Teresa of the series. This is the Glam and Groom series, which I love. You know, it's a the doll and a matching dog. So you've got Teresa in this blue dress, kind of like a, almost like a baby blue or powder blue. And then you've got this dog down here, which I think, oh yeah, Ruby, the name, this dog's name is Ruby. 
and it says I can shake paws. Um, here's Ruby, if you can see her. You'll see her better actually on the picture on the back. And there's Teresa. I thought these were really cute dolls, cute outfits. Again, I could do without the bows and the hair. I don't know why they always had to do that. I mean, it looks silly to me. Uh, okay, so here's the dog with the um, paw, you know, stick in their paw to shake, shake hands and paws. And the picture of the doll. She's got that really poofy stuff on her wrists in the picture. See that in the picture? Now look what it actually looks like. It's just kind of like a furry, faux fur sort of thing. But it doesn't look like that, thank goodness. I'm glad they changed that. Because that doesn't look right on the back. I mean, it looks like she killed something and put it on there. But this just makes it look less fatal on the, her, her wrists uh, this way. Uh, she does have a little mirror and a little, um, I guess that's the leash. And I'm not sure if what that spray is. Let's see. Uh, look for them all. No, that doesn't say. Um, brush our beautiful hair. I don't know if that's probably some kind of spray, hairspray, I think. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's not real. And then there is a brush, so you can do the spring. Oh, and there's extra wonderful little bows. So you can put them in the dog's hair, I guess. Yeah, it's just like, okay, let's blind the dog by putting bows on its head right in front of its eyes. But anyway, it's a cute set. I just don't like the bows. Um, so yeah, that's the Teresa in the Glam and Groom from 1999. What do you guys think of this one? Okay, and then the last one I want to show you today is the matching, well, not matching, but from the same set, um, Glam and Groom Christy with the dog Keely. Now, this one actually has, I see, two bottles of that spray, um, but they're both at the bottom, so they either fell off or somebody took them off at some point. Um, so here she is, and she's got a lot of hair. And I've shown these dolls once before, and I remember always talking about this one clump of hair just hanging there for, for its dear life. I mean, I don't know why that's like that, but um, just a curl that came loose, maybe. Uh, but she's got a great face. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is, but um, I've seen it on a lot of dolls, especially from that time period. And here she is as like the spotlight dog and doll. So here's the dog. Very similar hair. And here's the doll. Now, I guess it could be a little controversial to have dogs that sort of match women. I don't, I don't know. I, now that, you know, when you look back, sometimes you think, ooh, what were they thinking? So I think it is just that nowadays we're in a more politically correct and hypersensitive culture. And I don't think they would make these today. I don't know. But I just kind of doubt it. Um, they would do something like it, but maybe not have them match like that. The dog and the... That's my guess, but I hope I'm wrong. Um, but the other doll in the series, of course, is Barbie, and she's with Lacey. So I think these are all female dogs. They're supposed to be female dogs. And that would make more sense with the long, luxurious hair and the bows in the hair. Wouldn't want to put that on Samson's head. So... <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I think that dog is a little strange looking. I mean, this one is, none of them are exactly realistic looking. But this one, you could say, looks kind of like a poodle. So I guess that might be a more realistic than some of the other ones. Uh, maybe that first one was like an Irish setter type dog, although they're bigger usually. Not, not as long a hair, but an Irish setter that needs a haircut. That's what I would call it. Um, okay, so this one, by the way, is in a purple outfit. It's not quite the same kind of material as that last one. I like the other, the first one better. I don't like this one as much. It makes, it reminds me of a, um, nighty or negligee or something. I just don't like this as much. The dress, I mean. The doll's great. Um, and I like on the back, see how her hair is? It's much more controlled. Um, here, I don't know what the hell that would, if you take it out of the box, I don't know what it's going to look like. Um, but it's not going to look like that on the back, which I think looks better. But 
Uh, it'd be worth a try. So, okay. So these are the Glam and Groom dolls. Now, um, I wanted to talk to you about a couple other quick things. One is, I had an idea that I wanted to throw out to you guys, my viewers. Um, I thought it would be interesting if, you know, a couple, two, three of my different viewers from wherever would like to have a Zoom call with me and talk about dolls and what you like to collect. And I could use that potentially on my channel. So if you would be interested in having a, let's say, 15 minute or so uh, Zoom call with me sometime in the near future, uh, time to be determined uh, based on what you and I can do, then I would like you to let me know that in the comments. Um, also, I think that I just think that would be fun to interact with the viewers themselves and post some of those. And, you know, um, obviously, We'll, we'll both have to be willing to do that. So I don't, you know, I want to do it so that I can share it with other people on this channel. Um, so yeah, that's the one thing. Let me know again in the comments if you're interested. Um, two or three people to start with. I, I don't want to do too many uh, because it would take a lot of time. And then the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is a point that I saw on a Facebook doll group earlier about Collecting things, and this is something I've touched on in the past, is collecting just to collect and sort of keep up with the Joneses. Um, in other words, let's let's use these um, either BMR 1959 dolls or the extra dolls that are at Barbie extra dolls that are out now. Uh, so let's say we'll just stick with the latter, Barbie extra dolls. Uh, they're $26 a piece on average or $25 plus tax. And... To me, like anything, what you should do is if you don't really like them that much, don't get them. Uh, I just can't, I don't want to get things for myself that I don't really want because I have so much and I don't have room, as I've told you guys, to keep adding things without getting rid of some things, which I certainly try to do, but I don't want to buy something I'm not really interested in. And also, like I said, if I don't really like something when I review it, you're going to know, I'm going to tell you, I don't think everything is great. Um, and so I try not to buy something if I don't think it's great. And that's why I'm not going to be buying the Barbie Extra dolls, or at least not most of them. I have to see them in person. But for $25, that's a lot, I think, for dolls that I'm not crazy about. So, you know, when you spend $8 on a fashionista that's like, oh, yeah, I kind of like this fashionista, that's different than, you can buy three fashionistas. Now, they're not as good of a doll, I understand, the body especially, I mean. But I'm just saying, if you don't like it, don't buy it. And um, I think what the guy was trying to say on that post on Facebook was, he was asking, do people sometimes feel pressure, or like almost like peer pressure, to buy things just because everybody is buying them? My answer to that is absolutely not because I just can't and I don't want to do that. I like I did buy the most of the BMR 1959, but some people were asking, me, well, why aren't you getting the blonde doll from the first group? Well, because I absolutely did not like her. So I like to get full sets when I like all the dolls, but if I don't like it, I'm not going to get it. And so, yeah, I didn't get none in the second group. I think I only got one doll, which was the redhead guy. So the others were okay, and I might get a couple of them later, but these extra dolls, I'm not liking the outfits. Like, I don't like them on BMR, but I like the dolls on those. The dolls on the extras, so far, I'm not too crazy about them. Another example is the Mattel 75th anniversary dolls, the blonde and the African-American. They were $60, and they were recently on sale on Amazon for $30 each, which is a great sale. And I was so tempted to get the African-American, but, you know, I really looked at her. I don't like the dress, and I'm not crazy about the face or the hair. So what is there then? The earrings? So, yeah, I'm not going to get that. I'm not going to spend $30. I'd rather take that $30 and spend it on something I do like. So, anyway, I wanted to kind of chime in on that guy's post. I think he's right. I think we should not, as collectors, be doing that. Because don't collect just to collect and then, up. Oh, I don't like it two days later. You know, I mean, you know, if you buy it and you don't like it, keep the receipt, take it back, don't take it out of the box, and then get your money back. But you shouldn't get yourself into that in the first place, in my opinion. 
that's all I have to say this week, and I hope you have a great week. I hope to hear from some of you about talking to me on Zoom, and I will talk to you later. Bye.